Hello Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here. Today we'll be installing Ubuntu Desktop 16.04 LTS, which is a distribution of Linux. LTS stands for long-term support and gives you five years of supported security updates and other updates made by the Ubuntu Linux community. In this video, we'll download and get a boot image ready and install Ubuntu on a desktop computer. We'll first start out by going to Ubuntu's official website and downloading a desktop image. I went ahead and put a link to the downloads page in the description below. Once you're on the downloads page, go ahead and hit the See Alternative Downloads. If we scroll down to the bottom, we'll see Alternative Downloads by selecting Past Releases. And then instead of clicking up here on the 1604, we'll go ahead and scroll down again to find all the releases. Go ahead and click on 1604.6. Now we'll go ahead and select between the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version. Since our desktop is a 64-bit computer, we'll go ahead and select the 64-bit PC version. And once you're done downloading the image, we'll have to make a bootable USB. I like using the Belena Etcher app to flash and create a bootable USB disk, which will be used later to install Ubuntu on your computer. I went ahead and put a link in the description below to the app, so I'll go ahead and download it now. After I'm finished downloading, I'll go ahead and install it. Go ahead and just move it over into the Applications folder. Let's go ahead and open up the app now. Click Open. And now you can go ahead and select the image or ISO file that you downloaded from the Ubuntu website earlier. Then select the change button to pick a USB drive that you would like to flash the image on. Finally, go ahead and hit flash to go ahead and start flashing your drive. While this is flashing, we can go ahead and talk about the nuance part about installing Linux on a computer. In order to select the USB drive that's going to be created after this has successfully flashed, you will have to go into BIOS and change the boot order so that when the computer boots, it detects the USB disk first. This can be done on most computers by spamming one of the following keys, F2, F8, F12, F10, Escape, or the Delete key. I like to spam them all and see what kind of result I get. After you successfully get into BIOS, you'll be able to find a boot options section and select what item you want to boot first. If you're successful in booting off the newly created USB disk, then you'll get a screen similar to this in which it will ask you for what type of language you'd like to go through the installer with. Let's go ahead and select English, and then we'll use the arrow key to go down to install Ubuntu. Hit enter. Now we'll go ahead and wait. You might get some messages here, but don't worry it will end up getting to a loading screen as you can see now it will take a few moments and then the installer will end up coming up and you'll go ahead and get to choose what language you want to use we'll go ahead and click English and then continue and on the next page, it will ask you if you want to go ahead and download updates while installing Ubuntu. I usually go ahead and select this option. I'll go and hit continue. On the next page, it will ask you what you want to do with the current disk in your computer. This is the SSD or the hard drive that you have. I will go ahead and select to erase the whole entire disk and install Ubuntu. Make sure your disk is completely clean and has no data on it that you want to keep, or else it will be deleted in this process. It will take a few moments before you get to the next step. On this screen, you can go ahead and select your time zone. I'm going to go ahead and select Mountain Time and hit Continue. And next, I'll go ahead and select what language I want to use and what keyboard layout I want to use. Following this, we'll go ahead and put our name in here. So I'm going to put Savvy Nick followed by the computer's name, so I'm just going to put Savvy Nick Computer. And then we'll pick a username. I'll keep it Savvy Nick, put in a password, 
And then I like to go ahead and select to log me in automatically. That way I don't have to put my credentials in every time. Go ahead and press continue. And now the installer will continue to go ahead and install Ubuntu on your hard disk. You'll have to wait a few minutes for this to complete. So I'll go ahead and speed up this process. That way we can get to the end. And once the installer is finished, you will go ahead and get a notification telling you that the installation is complete. So you can go ahead and restart the computer now. You may or may not get a warning to go ahead and remove the USB stick from the computer. If you do get the warning, go ahead and remove the USB stick before hitting enter. After you've hit enter, it will go ahead and reboot itself. And once it's finished rebooting, you will start seeing the Ubuntu loading screen. And after it's finished loading, you will officially get to the Ubuntu desktop screen. This is going to take a few more moments here. And finally, here we go. Congratulations, you've installed Ubuntu 16.04 successfully. And now we'll just show you around a little bit. If you go to the top left here, you'll see the search bar. Here is your file explorer. Then the default browser is Mozilla Firefox. Then you have a suite of products, much similar to Microsoft Office. And then you have the Ubuntu Software Center. This is similar to like an app store. And towards the bottom, you have something that resembles a control panel. You can go ahead and switch settings in here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe below and hit the like button for future videos and notifications. Again, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you on the next vid.